Greetings in the matchless, the matchless, magnificent name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who alone is worthy to receive all the praises, honor, glory, thanksgiving, and power forever belongeth unto Him. Uh, I would like to continue on with the message, the day of the Lord. I left off last in the last video in this series of this will be the the eleventh uh, video, I believe, in the series. Please try to check out those other videos leading up to this one if you haven't uh, heard them already. But in this, in last video, I, I was talking about the two witnesses in, in the book of Revelations because there's a lot of confusion about who those two witnesses are. And uh, we discovered that when it says the two olive trees and the two candlesticks, we, dis we discovered that the two olive trees is a symbol for the Jewish believers in Christ at that time and the two candlesticks is a symbol for the the Gentile believers in Christ at that time or the church so what we have is the church and the Jewish believers in Christ the Jewish converts the Jewish evangelists or however you want to refer to them during the time of the of the tribulation period God will give them power and when it talks about power, of course we know he's talking about the power of the Holy Spirit that was poured out on the day of Pentecost. And, uh, you know, the, the 12 apostles, the 12 apostles began their mighty ministry and preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ at that time with signs and wonders following uh, so also in these last days the spirit of God will be poured out the Bible says it shall come to pass in the last days in the book of Joel he prophesied in the Old Testament that it shall come to pass in the last days that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord so God is going to pour out again once again his spirit in a mighty way through using the church and through using the Jewish believers in Christ at that time which the Bible, which Revelation tells us that there's going to be 144,000 Jewish, Jewish believers in Christ that are going to be sealed by God during that time to do the work of the preaching of the gospel and evangelism during that time and that time I'm referring to is, is during the Great Tribulation period. Uh, let, let us look at, uh, so we want to see what the church is going to be, what the church, and I, when I say church, I'm talking about Jewish believers in Christ and everybody else who's not a Jew. If you're a believer in Christ, you are a part of, the, of God's elect chosen people. You are you are a part of the church the church of Christ the bride of Christ so let us look at uh, to see what the church is going to be doing oh I didn't finish reading uh, revelations about the uh, olive trees and the candlesticks what it had to say about that okay revelations chapter 11 Verse, starting with verse number three, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, or three and a half years, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. If any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemy. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and, their, and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as, often as they will. And when they shall have finished their tes testimony, <coughs> the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. So we know that the beast that is referring to here is the the antichrist government and matter of fact he's going to have a one world government the bible tells us 
uh, he's going to you know, all the nations of the, of the kings of the earth are going to agree to give him power or to give their power unto him for, for, for a period of time during the Great Tribulation period. So he will be the one world dictator and uh, he will turn and persecute the church and the Jewish believers in Christ at that time. So when it says beast in Revelation, it's referring to the Antichrist and his government uh, or kingdom the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt where also our Lord was crucified okay so here we see that the church is going to be persecuted and broken up and destroyed pretty much uh, by the Antichrist government uh, uh, this go this falls in line with uh, Thessalonians with, with Paul with the Apostle Paul had to say in the book of Thessalonians when he said that the rapture would not come unless the uh, the man of sin be revealed the Antichrist uh, and that but the mystery of iniquity is already at work but he who restrains will restrain until he is taken out of the way a lot of Bible scholars I've heard you know them use that scripture as a as a as a as a referring to the rapture of the church well I disagree I believe that 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 taken out of the way part right there is it could be by us being destroyed and persecuted to the point where we are no longer an effective uh, adherent or, 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 or restrainer from the Antichrist doing what he wants to do which is rule the world and, and deceive the world and have the world worship him which ultimately means that they will be worshiping Satan, Satan who gives him his power alright then it goes on to say that uh, in verse number 9 uh, excuse me, verse number 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And verse 9, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves three days and a half. That's in another way of saying three years and a half. Because in these in the Bible prophecy uh, concerning the last days, each 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 day represents a year. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half or three and a half years, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them and the same hour was there a great earthquake okay so right here we see the rapture we see the rapture when does it take place after three and a half years after after the church has been persecuted and, and been killed for the most part and their dead bodies are lying on the ground not not being buried for three and a half years at the end of the three and a half years the rapture takes place and that and that will probably be that that has to be the last three and a half years of that seven year peace treaty that the Antichrist is going to confirm with Israel because the rapture of the ch church takes place at the end of the tribulation period uh, so let us go on to see exactly so we've already come to the point where we know when the rapture of the church is going to take place and that's going to be right before the Lord returns to destroy the wicked off the earth which will most likely be around the time that the battle of Armageddon is about to take place 
that last great battle where all the armies of the earth are gathered together over in the Middle East to fight against the Lord's uh, people and to fight against the Lord's anointed. Well, actually, at that time, they'll probably be an already invaded Israel, and uh, the Antichrist have already, well, have already taken uh, control of Israel, and uh, we'll continue this in the next video.